Homework, assignments and worksheets are a really great way to increase the perceived value of your online course and to help your students get the most out of your content. Let me show you how to create fillable PDFs using free tools. What we'll set up in this tutorial is at this. When a student comes to your online course and they download this resource, it will give them a worksheet, a PDF worksheet that they can fill out. And then they can save this with their own changes. And then we'll also add a file upload feature so that when somebody goes to the feedback lesson, they can then submit their document here. We can ask some basic information. And this will now send an email to the teacher that says, hey, somebody uh, submitted their worksheet for review and you will get this worksheet uploaded to your Google Drive automatically. All right, are you ready? Let's set this up. Now, the first thing you'll want to do is actually create your worksheet. For that, we're going to use Google Slides. Simply go to slides.google.com and if you don't have a Gmail account yet, you can sign up for free there. This will allow you to use Google Slides to create PDFs. But of course, if you have PowerPoint on your computer, you can also use PowerPoint or Word, or you can even use an online image tool such as Canva to create these worksheets. The goal is to have something in PDF format that looks like a worksheet. So the reason I'm using Google Slides is because it makes it very easy to add elements like this, where you can just add a square, a shape, and then color it in and so on. Or you can add the lines and you want to make sure that this looks like something you want your worksheet to look like, because then we're going to use this document in order to create the PDF. Now, the way that I made this an A4 format is in file and then our page setup. And then here, if you use custom, you can decide what your page size should be. So simply pick the A4 size there. And then what you want to do is in file, you want to download this and you want to download it as a PDF document. Because now we want to use this PDF document to make it a fillable PDF. For this, we are using a free online tool, which is this seja.com. There are several free online tools, but this is the one that I found easiest and doesn't um, force you to create an account and so on. So that is why we are using this one. So we want to upload the PDF that we just created in our Google Slides. So in our case, this is our MVP Mastery Worksheet. And then from here, you can see that you can add several elements to this PDF. So first of all, we want to add text fields here. Let's just drag it to fill it up. And then where we made the boxes, we want to make sure that we add a text area. And so just make sure you cover the boxes. Now, once you're done adding your boxes, simply apply the changes. And this now gives you a fillable PDF that you can download. So download this file. Now, the next step is to make sure that you upload this file for your students. So for that, go to your Thrive Apprentice dashboard in your content in your lessons. Go to the lesson where you want to add this worksheet. And then in edit, you can add a resource. So from here, we want to add a file, upload our worksheet, and then call this the name of the worksheet in your course, obviously, and simply save this. So now when you uploaded this resource to your lesson, this created this nice box with resources so that your student can simply download the PDF. So when they click on download, they'll see this PDF. And as you can see, they can fill this out. When they're done with the worksheet, they can then download it and download it with your changes. So this means that they now download this PDF with their answers included. 
Now, this then allows you to ask your students to upload their worksheets. So how do you do that? Well, you go to your course again, and I would suggest adding a special lesson that is called something like feedback or get feedback or um, submit your homework or whatever makes sense for your online course. And then over there, what we'll do is edit the content of the lesson. Let's collapse this sidebar. You will want to add a lead generation form in here. So when you go into your elements, go to lead generation, drag it on the page. And this will allow you to choose something that's called application forms. Now, the reason that we're picking an application form is because the templates that are called application form already have the file upload feature included. So it just makes it a bit easier to start from there. So I picked this form 11 and then I customized it for this course. So from here, you can really customize everything. So we have our first name, the email, then we asked, how did you, what did you think about the worksheet? So this is also an opportunity to get feedback from your students and then if they had any questions. And then we have this upload your worksheet here. Now this upload your worksheet is connected to Google Drive. Now, if you want to know how to connect this um, to Google Drive, we have a full tutorial that explains every little step in doing this in making this API connection. But what happens now is that if somebody uploads their homework, then it will get uploaded automatically to your Google Drive or to your Dropbox if you prefer your doing this through the Dropbox. The advantage of this, and you might be wondering why do isn't this uploaded to my website? Well, you want to make sure that you never let people upload anything to your website because that would be a huge security risk. And that is exactly why we use this third party cloud services so that we can safely host these documents without them ever touching your website. So here, this is set up with Google Drive. And then the other thing that I did is in the add connection, I chose to add email as a connection. Now, the reason that I set up this email as a connection is because then the moment that somebody submits this form, I also get an email notifying that somebody submitted their worksheet. So this allows to make sure to not forget or not miss anything and also to capture these answers that people give to the other questions. That's it. We added a fillable PDF to our online course using only free tools and Thrive Suite. Now, if you have any questions, don't hesitate, leave them in the comments below. And of course, if you are an online entrepreneur, click that subscribe button, hit the bell so that you're notified when we publish new videos.